Hey, it's Caroline. Today I want to take you through a very quick knee massage video. To do this video, you'll need one ball. I prefer yoga tune-up balls, but a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball or even a larger softball could work. And a block or a stack of books, something that you can stack your knee on top of. So before we get started, you'll extend your legs straight out and you're just going to take the palm of your hand and take it along the side of your thigh and just rub down the side of the thigh. So I was a dancer growing up and every day in dance, we would come in and we would do our Pilates and then we would do literally this exercise, rubbing our legs, getting our legs ready for movement. So from here, you scrub the side of the thigh. I want you to take your arm now and I want you to pinch down the quad. So you can get in there as much as you want. Make sure you get, if you can see, around the kneecap, along the quad. <laughs> you could even do some tie if that feels good. But just kind of loosening things up. And then we'll switch sides. So you'll take the palm of your hand and again, scrub down the side of the thigh. This may or may not feel hard for you. So just notice everybody's body is different. And maybe today there'll be th some things that really work for you and some things that don't. Okay, taking the hand, pinching around the top, around the bottom. You can also note where you find the most tension. So for me, it's often, you know, right around the knees. I run and cycle a lot. But for others, it might be higher towards the hip, depending on what you've been doing with your squats. <laughs> rear kettlebells, and relax. So the next thing we'll do is actually work with the ball and the block. So you can take the block out if it's too much for you. I'm gonna show both versions. To start, you'll come down as if you're going into a plank position, and you'll bring the ball right above the kneecap, not directly on it. You'll come down, and then all I want you to do from here with the forearms on the ground is bend and straighten. So you'll feel the ball apply tension and pressure into the quads. Good stuff. If this is not hard enough for you or you want to amp it up a little, you'll do the same technique with the block. So knee comes on top and you might have to come up a little bit higher. Bend and straighten. Yep, definitely harder. Adds a little oomph. So we're just starting in the very middle of the quad for right now. For the next exercise, I want you to hold the heel towards the glute and windshield wiper side to side. So again, you can lay all the way down, getting your belly in this position. Windshield, it's a little bit easier to do on the floor versus the block, but if you're up here, in and out definitely effective. Very awkward to do, so just kind of let it be weird. <laughs> From here, I want you to bring the ball into the inside of the knee, so you can bring the block up. Ball's going to go inner knee, forearms on the mat, so you're in this kind of 90 degree bend, and you'll just straighten and bend. And this feels great. If you do a lot of cycling, jumping, running, you can also shift the ball a little bit higher down that adductor and find some good things there. And you breathe. Oh, this one can be kind of painful. Another great way to get into the adductors or the inner thighs is to just move the knee up and down and hike the knee towards the shoulder and down. So you're getting a nice massage there on the inner thigh. And if you need to, you can use a bigger ball, especially if your legs are stronger or larger. Good. And then release. We'll go to the outer thigh now, and this is the hardest one for most people. So what I'll have you do is lie down, bring the ball 
on the outside of the leg where we started our video today. And you can either choose to stack the top knee on top or have it to the side, and you're just going to straighten and bend. So I'm getting into the IT band now, and the cool thing is that I can move the ball anywhere along the side of the thigh to get a different experience. So there's so many good things to find, and you can start towards the knee, you can go further up towards the hip. This can be extremely painful. Make sure that you're just feeling a deep tissue massage pain, not anything sharp, electric, razor-like. If you're feeling any of those sensations, it's a sign you probably want to stop doing this exercise and check with your doctor before continuing. But if you're feeling like, you know, you've got this deep tissue massage going on at home for free, that's probably a good thing. So try a few more spots along the side, noticing where you find the most tension or sensation. And you can also do kind of this bicycle-like motion. Good, and relax. So we're gonna try the other side, and just for demonstration, I'll show you this same thing with the no block. So ball starts on the middle of the quad, and you come to your forearms, and you're just going to start here, bending and straightening the leg, bringing the heel towards your bottom. So you don't need a block to do this exercise, it does add a little extra flavor, but you know if you're traveling and you don't have a block or a stack of books, you can absolutely do this on your hotel room floor. So bending the knee and windshield wipering side to side. This is an exercise I do often because sometimes I just get, you know, life knee pain from moving around a whole bunch and sport. So I like this because it kind of is a quick fix for any sort of achy knees that I've got going on. Good, and then we'll try the inside of the knee. So ball comes towards the inside, bending the knee to 90 degrees, and again, straightening the leg and bending. So a little kick to the side, kind of like you're kicking a soccer ball. You can also play around with hiking the knee in and out. And breathe in. Man, there's some good things in there all the time. <laughs> I love foam rolling and self-massage because it is one of those things that's instantly soothing and relaxing, even though it can be painful. So try a few more, either pin and lengthen, or moving the thigh around in any direction, and breathe in. Okay, IT band on this leg. So again, this is a different technique for the IT band that we've done in the past with the foam roller. I love the ball because it's a little more pinpointed, targeted pressure. So ball is going to go anywhere along the thigh. You can prop yourself up like Jane Fonda doing leg lifts. And again, straighten and bend. If you're new to any of these techniques, you don't have to add anything to it. You can just hold the ball against the thigh and take nice deep breaths because this can be rather painful, especially if you're never experienced it before. Oof. Yep, definitely works. So nice deep breaths, moving the ball anywhere along the thigh, adding any sort of movement that feels right, and of course you can add the top leg to increase the amount of pressure. Oof. Yep, definitely works. This is the perfect thing to do if you're struggling with knee pain, or you're training for something like a half marathon, you've been cycling a lot, and you just want to keep your knees healthy and your body performing at its best. Oh, I'm loving this technique for the IT band. Yay for yoga tune-up. Absolutely the best. So finish up on your IT band, give it one or two more little stretches. Oh. Make sure you breathe. I know we're finishing with the hard one. And relax. So come on up to a seat and we'll finish the way we started. Legs out in front of you. 
Just checking out, see how your legs feel. Notice if they feel any less tense, if you have maybe longer, more spacious and free quads, hips and hamstrings. I wanna thank you for joining me today and for practicing self-care as part of your day. If you liked this video, hit like, subscribe to my channel and share it with all of your friends. And for more health, fitness and happiness tips, check me out online at carolinejordanfitness.com.